here is the short demo of simplified process of VRCU onboarding. Once you log into CSP console, you can see the VRealize so, a cloud subscription manager service style. On launching the service, you can see these new uh, two tabs that are added, license management and uh, settings. This license management is newly added for simplifying the onboarding experience of VRCU. Uh, so for uh, using this license management feature here, there are two prerequisite configurations that needs to be done. One is cloud proxy. This is a proxy VM which has to be deployed or configured to talk to your on-premise VRealize products. And another one is customer connect details. Uh, on providing your customer connect details, we uh, fetch the licenses, the VRCU licenses, uh, which are uh, created as part of the orders, which are booked in this August 5 org. So uh, in the cloud proxy page, uh, on clicking on the add proxy, there are two options that are listed out. Uh, so here you can add a new proxy, which I mean by deploying a new proxy or use an existing proxy, which is basically if you are a customer uh, who is using some of the VRealize cloud services like cloud assembly and the log inside cloud, then you will already be deploying one start gate to VM uh, using which you are communicating, you will be communicating with your on-premise components. So if you already have some cloud proxies deployed uh, where other services agents are already running, for suppose here, I have this existing proxy VM where uh, I'm running my cloud assembly agents already. I can just use this and start my VRCSM uh, proxy agent also to be running here. So once I click on add, uh, you would see here a new uh, service agent has got listed and uh, the very instant uh, our service agent starts running in this proxy VM. So other option is using or deploying a new proxy VM. This, this step is again straightforward. Uh, you can just select the uh, proxy OVA link and also the OTK key. Uh, so choose any V center where you want to deploy this VM. Uh, give the required details. Here I'm providing the OVA URL link. And this is uh, proxy name. Uh, select the cluster. Just review the details, uh, accept the license agreement, select the storage. Also, you can choose between thin provision or thick provision. You can opt for a static IP or a dynamic IP. Here I'm going for, uh, this, this is a DHCP network, so I'm going for dynamic IP. So here again in the screen, you will have to provide some mandatory details. So the first one is the OTK. So copy the OTK from here, from the uh, service portal, BRCSM portal. Uh, so this OTK will be required for your VM to register with the SaaS service. So this is a must. And then here are the root password, which you can use to log into the VM. And uh, this, this says a user-friendly name, which you can use uh, which will be used to display it in the SAS portal. Uh, that's it, no more details are required. Yeah, just click on finish. Uh, just let it complete. Meanwhile, I can show you other further things. So since we have already one proxy VM uh, using which we can talk to on-premise products, Let's proceed with this license management tab. So I already have uh, some products configured here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll start with a new one. 
So yeah, the first thing is we'll have to select the customer connect details. The first step is we'll have to select the customer connect details. Uh, as I said earlier, we fetch the license details as as and when uh, you and you give us the customer connect details. So here you will have to select the license key. Uh, so also you can see few details of license here, the license key, the description, addition of the license, the quantity, and also the expiry date of the license. So in this step, you'll have to select the cloud proxy using which you can talk to or VRCSM can talk to on-premise virtualized products. So this is the final step where you can uh, provide other product details. So here you could see we are listing or we are allowing user to add only these three products. This we decide based on the addition of license type they have selected in the previous screen. So since it was an enterprise uh, license, uh, it can be applied to only these three products, VRA, VRLI and VROPS. If it was an enterprise plus license, we would have uh, shown uh, Verney also here. So uh, I'll... Uh, select VRLA, I have this uh, newly deployed VRLA. I give the details here. Once uh, we provide the required details, we in the background check if the provided details are correct or no. Uh, so how do we validate these details? It's basically we just check if we are able to communicate with LI of this of the host name using the admin password that you have provided uh, yeah so here you can also see uh, the option here uh, remove all perpetual license but if if a user opts in for removing all perpetual license the rcsm will uh, take care of removing any uh, perpetual licenses that are applied on the product already Yes, that's it. Once you uh, trigger on submit, uh, you will, you can see the status of the request here. So in the background, we uh, do a few things. So we fetch the license details, version details of LI, and also if there are any licenses that are pre-applied on LI. Yeah, a few other things which are very specific to VRCSM. That's it. Once you do it here, uh, yeah, user has to do just this thing. Uh, after this, we in the background every few hours uh, trigger our jobs to collect usages from these uh, on-premise products using the cloud proxy that is configured. So there are a few uh, day two options that we provide. So you can add any new license replace an existing license. So let's say uh, your cloud proxy has got inactivated for some reason, for some infra issues. You can deploy a new proxy VM and then update the details here. And the last step is just to view all the details of the endpoint that you have added. So FQDN, the proxy that you're using or configured with this product, the connectivity check status is uh, the request status uh, and a uh, few other details of license of each license key that is applied to the product so the addition of license quantity health if, if it is still an active license or no uh, the units and the customer connect account with which this license is associated with Uh, yeah, that's it. Once uh, this is done, you can uh, monitor the usages that are connected from this on-premise products from this tab. Uh, let's just also see uh, what is the progress of the proxy VM deployment that we have initiated. So if you see the deployment has completed, I'll uh, just go and power it on. Yeah, so the power on is done. 
so within uh, two to three minutes you can see uh, the cloud proxy vm that we just deployed uh, getting registered here so you could see the new proxy vm that is getting listed here uh, just one other thing I wanted to show is the reference. So here in a single page, you can see uh, the license from this customer connect account getting used in what all products. So if you could see, this is the license and we are, you or VRLI is consuming this license. And also you can just see the host name or IP address for this VRLI instance. Yeah, that's it from my end. Thank you, everyone.